welcome friends to another session of the silk route to excel at work the past few sessions we have been learning about the various functions in excel and a few tips and tricks to get the best out of excel thanks for being with me please inform your colleagues friends to subscribe so that they you me can all excel at work we have been looking at various functions and we have the in depth look at the v lookup and the x lookup functions one of the subscribers who is working in cpwd asked for uh, sort of a guidance on how to prepare a deviation statement so this session is for all those engineers architects or consultants involved in execution of works so we'll now see how to prepare a deviation statement please note that this is what i adopt the methodologies that i have been doing for the past few years and there might be small few even in cpwd itself who have their own formulas or improvements in this other correct as long as the result is the same and we'll now go into the topic this is a format of a deviation statement just for the example sake this is deviation statement 3 i'll just zoom to this overall statement item description unit as per agreement actual code executed the deviation within the permissible limit the deviation beyond the permissible limit the absolute value the remarks will come to each of them and the total of course i just taken like for a sample sake we'll have to fill this in now so these are the various tables the column serial number 3.1 is the derived from set number 3 set number 3 and the first item that is 3.1 item number is item number of agreement this is the unit this is the quantity as per agreement the rate amount the quantity executed is of with the deviation is 250 and we'll see what all comes here these remarks for that should be dated in detail so now so suppose the quantity is 250 as per agreement and the actual quantity is 250 there's no deviation and then everything is zero suppose the deviation the quantity has deviated beyond the agreement quantity that is this becomes let us say 300 points that means in c wd till the permissible limit which normally is 30% the quantity the rate is the same that's why within there is no rate column here beyond permissible we get rate column the rate is derived from the market rate that is in this example if you can see he has quoted below the estimate cost is 25 crores he has got 23 crores electric component is 1.22 he has got 6.75 so presently the within the agreement quantity is 300 so what will be the quantity it will be the deviation quantity is fixed at a cap of 30% of the agreement quantity so first thing is i just subtract this from this the quantity executed from the agreement quantity i get 50 the amount is now filled up the formula is simple rate into the agreement quantity and then the excess amount is 42750 
there is no saving in this particular example. The absolute value is the sum of savings and excess, which is the same as the excess amount. Fine. Now 50 is less than 30% of 250. Fine. But what if it is more than 30%? That is, if the if the rate goes to 325 till 325, the rate remains the same. If it goes to 330, then the rate is fixed till 30% only. So I need to ensure that this quality doesn't exceed 30% of the agreement quality. So I put another check here saying that this shall be minimum of 30% of agreement quantity which is 250 times into 0.3 We'll just put for one for now. So it is 75. So if the quality exceeds 75, it has to go to the next column. That is beyond permissible quantity. Fine. Now it is 75. So what about the rate here? If it is more than the 30% of the equivalent quality, it remains at 75. Fine. So, but what if the quantity is that is 300 only? that means my deviation is 50 then this has to be 50 so here we put or else if this is minimum or the actual quantity that is h11 minus e11 so here if the quantity is within 30 percent of the agreement quantity this is like this if it changes to be on 30 percent say it is 350 then this is capped at a value of 30 percent of the agreement quantity so beyond agreement quantity it is just simple formula of the actual quantity executed less the agreement quantity less the divided quantity this comes here the rate is to be manually entered or derived from the rate analysis or linked to the rate analysis. So here let us say that market rate is 950 compared to the rate of 855. So the amount here is again a simple formula of rate into the quantity. The excess quantity is a sum of the deviation quantity of 30 percent and that of beyond 30 percent quantities so there is again the same formula of j11 plus m11 this is it so the actual slightly improved formulas will be like this one for second atom 75 is the agreement quantity to make it 100 then 23 is the quantity within 30 percent 2 is the quantity after 30 percent that is beyond 30 percent the rate here is derived from the rate analysis here and this is 695 so this 469 is the agreement rate 690 is market rate this is what and then this comes here the total now one more thing what we'll see here the slight improvement which we made is the contract is rebate is 6.5 percent that is the difference between this 23.59 in this case the electrical component the difference between 6.75 crores and 7.22 crores which is 6.58 percent is written here and the rate is subtracted this being a percentage retender 16.379 so what we do here is rather than typing it every time 6.58 link to another cell here which is in t1 so t1 has got 6.58 percent and s1 is the correct agreement rate not the tender date the agreement amount is the agreement amount 
6750190 which is electrical compound agreement rate this is utilized in two ways here we take up the rebate the rebate is given for the agreement quantities including the 30 percent deviate quantities so we get both of them are multiplied by the same t1 cell and then the absolute quantity the deviation beyond permissible there is no subprime because directly market rate and this is the same as the absolute value you subtract the deviation limit you get 95123 and total remains the same fine now this is the sanctioned amount of deviation statement number 3 so coming to that we utilize this one in the formula now this contains two items only the rates are these are standard terms which you can do and now the deviation rate number 3 is recommended for sanction by for rupees so and so which is dash percent of the tendered amount of the electrical component fine so just as the formulas here you can see the formulas here this is c1 c1 is the address of deviation rate number 3 I'll be alternating between the formula and the statement so deviation rate number 3 c1 refers to that C1 refers to this cell, deviation rate number 3. So, what are doing? That is sanction for rupees. What is the formula? P15. P15 contains the deviation amount. This P15. Fine. So, deviation statement sanctioned for P15. Now, what we did here is we are using the text command to change this to our requirement which is 95 comma 123 and this is the formula here which again come text which is again percentage that is the percentage of agreement value so that will be p15 by let us make it absolute value that is s 1 95,000 is 0.14% of the tendered compound volatile component which is given here as 6.75 crores so this is what is recommended for sanction so here also same thing same formula slightly modified in terms of the language because one is being proposed for sanction and is being sanctioned so here we tell deviation number 3 for 95123 which is point of is hereby sanctioned this says is recommended for sanction there's only difference between these two statements so what happened here is that in case you decide somebody changes the rate here this is all linked so let us make this point to fine this is rate is 10 rupees if you make it 11 rupees then this changes to 710 that means my statement here the rate is linked to 710 this becomes 95123 becomes 95153 you want to make even larger change let us make this 15 so this becomes 773 my statement becomes 95279 this is linked to my statement here so there is no error whatsoever when you make changes in the rate analysis I'll take it back to the unit of 10 rupees fine so other than this this is one check which we do to ensure that the amount here total amount sanction would match with the statement here fine one more thing what we do here is these are all normal these are all no formulas linked here In this side this is statement number three so what happens happened one and two so what I do is here I physically means it's not linked to any formula I enter the manual here let us say the E has sanctioned statement 2 by 63,000 the CPM chief engineer has sanctioned for 3.5 earlier so what happens is that 
this is the total of statements till date so this goes up to al4 assuming there will be other statements coming up later so we take up all this here state number one two three and then the who sanctioned it ae e or ce or cpm and then this is just the sum of sanctions and this 95123 is linked to the total here 95123 so this is stated being sanctioned now 95123 and this is the total of the previous sanction and the current sanction so this again a simple formula with combination of text formula and percentage formula this is how we do a division statement i will come to using v lookup and x lookup in the next session thanks for watching koti hope you're satisfied hope you have learned something new or refreshed what you already know please subscribe and share this with your peers friends and colleagues to help them you and me to excel at work thank you for watching